Hello, I'm Carl at Trident Fly Fishing. Today we're going to tie the peeping caddis. This pattern is meant to imitate a cased caddis, and the colors you use should be used to match the case caddis in your home waters, but that's usually brown, olive, or green. Their segmented bodies are usually protected by a portable house that they carry around and they build this from debris that's found along the bottom of the stream bed, and it allows just their head and three pairs of legs to be exposed. These are a major food source and they're always on the menu. So here is the completed fly in the vise. So the hook we're going to use today is a Daiichi 4640. It's a jig hook. This is a size 14 and we have an 8 inch slotted tungsten bead. Our thread will be UTC 70 denier in black. We'll get our thread started right behind that bead and we'll form a small ball there to help hold that bead up against the hook eye and then wrap back to the bend of the hook where the bend starts just above the hook gouge. And the first material we're going to tie in is just going to be some yarn. Um, this is in a tan color. It's also three strand and it's a little bit more than I need so I'm going to finagle one strand out of the group, be left with two. Now what we're going to do here is burn the very end of this wool to form the black head that you would see on a caddis, like so. Once it's burned, keep your fingers off it till that has a chance to set. We're going to tie this in on top of the hook and we want it to be about a hook's gap in length, like so. That will do. We'll wrap forward to the bead. Cut off our excess material. Neaten this up a little bit. The next material we're going to tie in is going to be the, the legs that extend from the case. For that we're just going to use a feather from a well-used partridge cape. So we'll prepare it by stripping away all of the fuzzy unusable feathers. Bring the feathers back to form a small triangular tip. Snip that off so we have about a mil and a half to tie in. Like so. Take our hackle pliers. We'll get about two turns out of this. We don't want too many. It's already with two turns it's going to emphasize more legs than it has. off our excess. And wrap back up towards the head to cause the feather to lay down around the head, like so. Got one stray. I'll get rid of that. Now we're going to add just a little bit of sparkle to this. This is uh, Hairline's 
ice dub and the color we're going to use is UV cinnamon. Just need a really small pinch of this. Just need a hint of color. Just make a small collar. It's actually too much. There we go. And the body of this fly is going to be from Nature's Spirit. It's just a snowshoe rabbit foot dubbing. The color we're going to use is going to be brown. And we'll form a noodle on our thread here and wrap this forward to the slotted bead. Now I'll bring our rib forward and probably take four or five turns. Make your turns nice, make your turns nice and even. And when we reach the bead, we'll capture it with our thread. And we can helicopter that off. So, we're going to add just a little bit of Zappa Gap to that thread to help keep everything from coming apart. Got our whip finish tool, do a four or five turn whip finish. Seat our knot. Cut our thread. And our fly is finished. Please feel free to leave comments and don't forget to hit that subscribe button to keep up to date on all the new content here at Trident Fly Fishing. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you again next time.